Hi, I'm Kendall Harris of Wine23 and I'm in the beautiful south of France and one of the best things about being here is meeting people in the wine business such as Stephen Cronk of Mirabeau Wine who's here to talk about his rosé, Mirabeau Wine, made in the Côte de Provence and a little bit about how you got here. So how did you get here? Where are you from originally and what brought you to the south of France? Because yeah, I'm not French, yeah, you may be able to tell by my accent. Um, I'm from England, yes. uh, from London in fact, and for many years has harbored this dream of one day making wine. So eventually, three years ago, we, uh, we sold the house. Yeah. We, uh, we, we left London with our three children yeah. and, and came down here to start making uh, rosé wine. Wow. And what is special about Provence rosé? Because why you could have made any kind of wine. Why did you choose to make rosé in Provence? Well, uh, Provence rosé is one of the few areas in, in the French wine market that's actually seeing growth right now. Rosé around the world is increasing mm. massively in popularity. Is it? And Provence is the leader in rosé around the world. And why is Provence so why is Provence so known for its rosé? Why does Provence equal rosé for many people? It does. The, the simple answer is it makes the best rosé in the world. Yeah. Um, the, the longer answer is actually they've been making it here for two thousand six hundred years, really? so they know how to make it pretty well. Yeah. It's also the only wine region in the world that specialises in rosé. Oh. So it's ninety percent of wine here is rosé. And it's a dry rosé. The climate here is perfect for it. The, the, uh, the Very terrain hot is summers. Hot summers, yeah. but, but where we make this, you've got a bit of altitude, so you've got that freshness and the longer yeah. ripening periods and so on. So if you get the right spots in Provence, it's the best place in the world to make rosé wine. And what grapes go into this? Because um, tell us a little, bit about, a little bit about how it's made and what kind of flavours people can expect. Yeah, because some people don't know how rosé is made, and you might think very logically that it's red and white wine combined, but yes. it isn't. Here in Provence, we use red, red grapes only. So this has actually got all the benefits of those yummy red grapes, the Grenache, Syrah that you may well know, and then you've got good. a few other varieties. Very good red well. wine grapes. Exactly, red <laughs> Grenache wine grapes. And Syrah. But we only leave the juice in contact with the skins for a few hours. So you so get a slight little bit of pink. So you get a little bit of pink, but you get all the characteristics, or a lot of the characteristics of the red fruits, but actually it it's tastes more like a white wine. Uh -huh. So you've got the benefits of it being a little bit different, um, much more versatile than it would be if it's just a red or just a white, right. but with the acidity that makes it a very, very good food wine. And for people who haven't enjoyed, um, well, for, in particular men who haven't enjoyed pink wine, what might you say to encourage them to try rosé uh, for the first time? It is, a, it is a pink wine after all. It's a pink wine, but don't be put off by the colour. I mean, if you're, if you're confident about your, your manlyhood, uh, you shouldn't be put off by the colour. I mean, you know, essentially it's, you know, it's made with red grapes. It's yeah. more like a red wine on, on the nose for yes. sure. But on the palate, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's got that freshness of a, of a white wine. So don't think of it necessarily as pink, but I think the color is beautiful. It's, yeah. it, and it's just great to serve uh, as an aperitif. It's a yeah. fun thing to get a party going. And, and definitely a great summer wine. I know, I know there were many bottles of this open on my patio last summer. It's, it's a wonderful summertime wine. Yeah. Um, and what do you like the best about, about living in France and, and living the dream, making wine and, and being here? Well, I, there's so much about this place I love, Kendall. I mean, it's a uh, it's great climate, yep. great great scenery, great markets. I mean, Provence yes. is just steeped in history. And you've got just down the road, you've got the beautiful Côte d'Azur, you've got yes. Monaco, Saint-Tropez, Cannes, you know, some beautiful places. Yeah. And it was just a, a good swap, rainy, rainy <laughs> London to a sunny Provence. Yeah, it, it doesn't seem like a difficult decision to make. So. Well, thank you so much, Stephen, and definitely check out mirablewine.com. You can learn more about Stephen's wonderful wine and see some of the amazing videos that he's produced here in the south of France that really illustrate this amazing wine lifestyle down here. I'm Kendall Harris of Wine23. Thank you for watching.